from For Love of Paper and I am here with project number two for uh, Ketaholics Kits using uh, the July kits which are based on the Coco Vanilla Studio Collection Boys Rule which is perfect for me having two, two boys. I'm getting lots of use out of this kit which is amazing. I've got lots of lots of scrapping done over the last weekend so I'm catching up slowly but surely. I, ha I had hardly scrapped any of uh, Roman's baby photos, so I'm getting a chance, which is amazing. And this is one of those photos. This was um, actually two photos. I was going to use one photo to start with that you saw at the beginning, and then I sort of changed my di design idea <laughs> as I was cutting my papers, and I switched to two smaller photos, um, and they're both of... Um, Roman when he was a uh, newborn and Sam holding him it was when Sam came up to the hospital and was the first time he met his little baby brother so there's some pretty special photos and I really I really like them and um, it's about time I got them scrapped because you know he's well over a year old <laughs> and I've been a bit slack um, and I've printed them black and white just because I, I like black and white photos and they don't clash with the um, the, the papers and whatnot, even though they, their kids were actually wearing um, black and white anyway, so it would have been all right. But I just pre prefer that that sort of a look um, on my pages. So I've trimmed them down to, uh, I think one of them's two two and six eighths of quarter square and the other one is two and six eighths by three and six eighths don't know why I'm using inches on this particular one but I was so I don't know what it is in centimeters because I wasn't using that for some strange reason some strange reason um so I trimmed those down to that size then I got a piece of black cardstock and um, put a photo mat behind each photo it is um, so this is when I switched them no I didn't I think I put another 1 16th of an inch border around the edge so it was only a little tiny border around both of those photos um, and at the beginning I cut a 12 by 3 strip of the blue on blue with the geometric shapes um, that paper and then I cut another strip that was about a centimeter and a half. I switched between all these um, different um, measurements of the white paper with the um, black positive signs on it. So uh, just a thin strip of that. And I wanted to do a little bit of a, a grid pattern and I was going to do two by three which you see me set up here in a minute but I do change that um, I do change that up. So I got a bit of white cardstock. This was just an A4 piece of cardstock that um, I had before. And I can't remember what I trimmed that down to, but it was big enough to fit both the photos side by side with a little, probably about a millimeter gap in between. And then I cut out these extra two little squares so that I could um, line it up. And I end up just pulling those off um, a little bit later. You'll see that. Um, now, I was inspired by something that I saw on Instagram, but I cannot remember what it was. I didn't actually save it. I was just sort of scrolling through Instagram and I saw an image and went, oh, yeah, that's cool, and kept on scrolling. But then the image sort of stuck in my head and I cannot remember whose it was. So I can't give credit to... <laughs> who I had seen had done a layout kind of similar-ish to this but I was inspired by something else I had seen I did go back and try and look through my feed but because Instagram's not in um, order anymore which is annoying and ridiculous but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother argument um, I couldn't go back and find who it was which is frustrating um, so now I'm sticking these two pieces down. Um, they're pretty much in the middle of the page. I didn't really measure it, I don't think. So it's it's the middle-ish 
of the page and I stuck that the white strip down and then the blue over the top and just trimmed off the excess it was a little bit longer than um, my 12 by 12 paper and going back to my big photo mat see this is where I'd had the um, 3 by 2 and then I decide to that that was it was too big and it took up too much of the, um, the page and I lost the blue strip underneath more than I wanted to so I went back to a 2 by 2 um, what else did I add to this one I think I'd put some embellishments on the side you can just see on the right hand side of the screen there's a couple of embellishments in a little pile I had got those out before I started this layout um, I tend to sort of go through my embellishments and pull out what I might use usually at the beginning um, I just find it easier than then having to rummage through everything later on I mean I still usually end up doing that let's be honest but um, yeah that's what I had done and this was a leftover piece from the previous layout um, that you would have seen last week and that I'd done my my test on for the the green border so I just cut that down into another little square and put that in the the spot there <laughs> sorry I've got a little bit of a, a sore throat but so it feels like there's something stuck in the back of my <laughs> throat so I'm just um, uh, coughing a little bit sorry um, and I love this piece of um, pattern paper I had a really hard time deciding which pieces I wanted to use and I also like the wood grain on the uh, reverse side as well it was it's tough to to actually cut it up because I did want to do a whole layout with just that um, wood grain but never mind I chopped into it so I might just use the wood grain as a little bit of a, a photo mat or a background piece in another layout but I really liked this star piece I thought it fitted nicely with the photos and um, also that um, the white piece with the positive signs on it as well so I trimmed that down to the same size as my larger photo um, actually I remember another reason why I printed these in black and white the photo in the top the larger one was taken on my husband's phone so it's pretty decent quality the other one was taken on I think my mother-in-law took that uh, photo and it was on her phone and her phone's the quality's not as good so printing in black and white um, you don't uh, so it kind of reduces or increases the quality I don't know it makes the photo look better I don't actually know the words I'm trying to say <laughs> it's still early in the morning I haven't haven't got up haven't properly awoken yet I don't think um, yeah sorry I'm a, a bit bit rambling uh, now I'm trying to work out my title and I had all these pieces that were like the best best day ever best ever things like that and I knew I wanted my title to be something along those lines so I end up using the ever from the little banner and then the chipboard word that says best and I do come back later on and put day in there so it does my title does end up being best day ever and I love that wooden frame and I have to use more not wooden chipboard frame I have to use frames more I have got so many frames I've got a whole box of frames and I need to use them more um, and this is one of the instances where I've pulled one out to use um, so I'm gonna frame that photo at the top it does fit around the square photo but I actually preferred it um, around this one so these were the embellishments that I had pulled out to use on this layout and just sort of dotting them around the page seeing where they could fit so I've got happy day which was I think from the exclusive pack then this one says documented the little banner and then the little tag as well 
So I think at this point I've got them kind of where I want them all uh, to go. Now it's just a matter of gluing them down and uh, finishing off the page. I think this layer took me about half an hour, so it wasn't a very long layer. It actually might not have been even half an hour. Um, so getting all these little green hearts. I love these little green hearts. And I know other people got different colors. There were some blue ones and some orange ones I'd seen a couple of the other girls get. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. I'm really happy with the green. Um, I'll, I've kind of used that as my, my accent color because most of this page is black and white and blue. Um, and it's quite a dark blue. So the little pops of green really just um, finish it off I think and now I am sticking everything down oh, oh that's a, the little arrow and I think most of these things are from the exclusive die cut pack which is pretty cool I really do love getting those because it's something different and you know you're not going to get it anywhere else and it's pretty exciting. I, I really like them. And in hindsight, I should have punched a hole in that tag and added um, a bit of twine or something to it, but I didn't. I may go back and do that. And then I got glue all over my fingers, which, you know, life of a crafter. I can't remember what that little banner says that I'd stuck on the bottom of the photo, I don't know. But looking back at that photo, Sam was just so, so smitten with his little baby brother. He was so excited to come up to the hospital and see him. And I think he wanted to take him home right there and then. <laughs> um, and then I tried to get that little green clear sticker on, but I don't know, I didn't quite like the way it looked. So it doesn't make it onto the layout. I tend to do that a lot with my with my layouts do I leave that I think that says love oh I end up using that love I put it up in the top left hand corner um, a little bit later on I think sorry my kids are playing in the bedroom so if you can hear the banging that's them opening and shutting the door probably not the safest game to play but <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, not, no one's crying, so it's all good for now. Um, and this is quite a flat sort of a layout. I didn't really do anything too bulky. I didn't um, put foam tape on anything. So it's quite a, a flat one, which is nice. It's nice to have those um, throughout the album. Uh, yeah, I know um, a lot. most of my layouts are pretty flat, but quite often I add like flare badges or um, wood veneer and it does make the, the layout quite a bit quite chunky so this was a nice flat one now I'm using the thin blue washi that came in I think came in the embellishment kit and I'm just adding those two little words that I had taken out before one says love oh brothers and love and a little heart and a little enamel dot and oh this one says documented and I just cut the the little flag bits off the side and just used it as a little banner documented happy day and what else do I add to this one a border so I just got out one of my um what are they uh, I can't remember what sort of pens they are. They're like a just a green. Li it's a lime green pen, but I can't remember what the technical name for them is. Like a gel pen, I suppose. But it matched with those little hearts. The colours matched perfectly. And then these were just some stickers from my stash. They are from the Made of Awesome collection, which is also by Coco Vanilla Studio. And use them to spell out day to finish off my title and I don't think I do any journaling on this page no I think I put the I might put the date on there later somewhere but that's about it so as for my last layout I just add a few little splatters of black and then I also add some green ones 
in as well. Um, if you watched my previous um, video, I, I pretty much did the same as that. And call this layout done. You'll see a link below to Ketoholics Kits. You can come over and join our Facebook page or go and check out the uh, website. There's lots in the store for you to get your hands on. And I will catch you next time. Bye.